very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking now I said good morning because we just entered Wednesday uh, 27th November because right now here is in Dubai time 12.06 a.m. Um, as usual I just wanted to share with you the results from the premium group signals and these are the results uh, Angela has finally posted them these are from the past uh, bad weeks we talked about in, uh, like two or three weeks ago however the result from 18 to 22 November of last week that was really outstanding and great and amazing results full of green we can see that chart is full of green almost in all the days except of course 20 November which is really normal I mean you can never have full of green every week you can never have 100% good results there will be ups and downs but we are doing our best to deliver to you the best signals possible totally ended with 22 wins against two losses plus uh, sorry plus uh, six manually closed total make, make it total of eight losses against 22 wins and these manual losses you can see here because Angela noticed that the market was going against our direction so she informed everyone in the premium group to close the trades immediately to reduce the losses to the maximum that is what we are trying to do recently we are trying to limit the losses and increase the profits to the maximum hoping to make everyone happy and that is what happened thankfully because we can see right now we have uh, started receiving the happy messages from the happy clients and we can see here this guy he is happy with the results because he recovered some of the, of the losses uh, this guy also he's happy with the results so far this one as well we received actually more than that we received many of them but we are just posting some of them in the free group however if you wish to join the premium group my friends please don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details in the telegram uh, in the description below this video all right so let's now check out the market after my last week analysis on last Saturday and see what happened and let's see if the market has moved as I predicted it so let's start with the euro USD if you have if you remember my last video I mentioned that the euro USD right now is on a support level and it is actually about to reverse uh, perhaps from this support level and it might go down all the way to the support before it starts reversing and in the end I believe the euro USD is going to reverse however it has to hit this previous resistance retest this level and then after that we can start to see a head and shoulders uh, pattern appeared and then we can start short or sell the euro USD from this point exactly as I mentioned 1.10416 and then it's gonna uh, continue its bearish reversal uh, let me tell you something that I see here that we have a price action which is really good this one here this red candle here because it's, it's it looked like that with a long uh, wick at the top and small tail at the bottom this is really very strong and very uh, accurate uh, price action for a possible reversal we can see it also happened right here this is another price action I like indicating that the buyers right now pushing the market to go up I don't believe the market is going down at this point at all it has to continue going at least to break this resistance and then it's gonna hit our uh, sell point and we can uh, it, yeah it will hit the trigger area and then we can start selling the euro USD right from this point so yes let's keep this uh, the signal uh, uh, or the analysis of the euro USD active it is going exactly as predicted let's now go to the pound USD now the pound USD as I mentioned uh, it's gonna start reversing if you remember my friends uh, the market last Friday night closed in this candle here sorry uh, at this candle right here and I mentioned that we are right now on a support level and the pound USD will start rising up all the way until it hit this previous resistance and then it's gonna start falling down that is exactly what happened literally literally literally, literally <laughs> the market went up all the way here hitting this resistance and now after small attempt to break out of it and it failed we can see now the pound USD is reversing now what is the next move now after we started shorting the euro the pound USD sorry we can notice right now that we are having here a bearish breakout candle this one right here so seeing this bearish breakout candle and we can see that the current candle right now is trying to reverse to make a pullback uh, to hit the same level again and then hopefully it's gonna continue falling down all in all I believe the pound USD 
if there was no unexpected news it's gonna fall down after hitting this previous resistance so meaning uh, I think within the next um, 12 hours or 14 hours we can expect for the pound USD to rise a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance and then it's gonna fall down it has to fall down at least to hit this previous support right here in my opinion that is the uh, it has to go at this way at least in general it's gonna fall down all the way here for at least 300 pips to hit this previous support however if you want to make a short time uh, short time analysis let me just drag this line here and <clears throat> we can expect for exactly let me just check yes exactly like that because we can see that the level of the resistance was very strong right here and right here as well and here what we are seeing is the resistance level meaning uh, after that the pound USD has reversed on this support level because right here we can see that we had a support number one right now we are having support number two so the pound USD is reversing and this is the, the level of the resistance where we can start shorting the pound USD so let me just write it for you I hope you guys are already shorting it but for those who didn't short yet we can start shorting the pound USD on the level 1.28839 I think that should be the best entry to start selling the pound USD and as I, as I said uh, just to be safe keep your trade running until it hit this previous support uh, right here on the level let me just uh, change it for you let me just uh, get rid of this one and I will write for you the new take profit level which is 1.27693 hopefully uh, it will be accurate and we will get some decent profit out of it now let's move to the USD GPY so the USD GPY uh, let me just uh, give me one second I will just watch my video to know exactly what was the level I mentioned to start shorting all right so based, to, uh, based on the video I mentioned uh, I made last Saturday I said that uh, USD GPY should be good to, uh, good to start shorting at this resistance however we can see that the market however is trying to break out from this resistance and again I still on my word that the USD GPY is falling but let's now increase the signal to make it right on the top of this resistance right here so most likely what will gonna happen is for the USD GPY it will continue rising a little bit more up hitting the level <coughs> let me just uh, write it down the level of 109.310 that should be good to start selling the USD GPY because let's go to the weekly candles on weekly candle we can see that the market after this bearish breakout candle remember we are on the weekly candles now so we can see that we had here a resistance number one which has been performed uh, like uh, five months ago on July 21 then again right now the market is still on the attempt number two so we had here the reversal happened and the market still did not really reverse uh, from, didn't even make a pullback after this reversal it's just still right on it I don't think that the USD GPY is gonna break out from this uh, resistance at all there is not a single price action indicating uh, a strength in the currency so most likely what will gonna happen that this candle here is gonna end up as a pin bar or a small candle with a long uh, wick at the stop and therefore we can expect for the next week the market to start falling really hard down however uh, I still think that the reversal of the resistance number two has not yet be been performed it is still in the creation because the, the market right now is ranging it's in consolidation mode for the UC GPY is still not uh, really deciding uh, what will gonna happen however I still advise that we should actually start shorting the USD GPY um, at the level 109.310 however we can actually start shorting it right now actually it's not really a bad idea because we can just lose like 20 pips 25 pips maximum uh, if you want to be safe to the maximum you can just increase your target or your uh, trigger area of sell uh, just like 23 pips however 
uh, again, I'm advising you that if you want to be safe, just uh, postpone your uh, trigger area. Or if you are one of these risky guys, you can just start shorting the USDGPY immediately to not miss this opportunity. And we will follow up what will gonna happen if the market will get a break up, a break out from this level. I will make another video just talking about this so we can keep tracking right on it. Let's check now the USD CAD. So the USD CAD, as I mentioned, that we can start selling right now because we are having here the resistance and we are having here the bearish breakout. So this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance. That is what happened exactly on daily candles. We can see because I told you, my friends, on last uh, Friday video, sorry, last Saturday video, this candle right here is a good price action of a reversal. That is what happened. We can see that the market has never ever closed above this resistance level. We can see that we had here two candles, this one and this one. Both of them did not even close above this resistance level, meaning this resistance level is very strong. And right now, the candle is about to close like that. And if the candle closes like that, we can keep uh, shorting the USD CAD. Let's move to the four hour chart. Perfect. So right now, the USD CAD is on a small support level. It might actually make a small bounce. However, it's all, all in all, it's going to continue falling down. And for those who have missed uh, selling it, you can start selling it uh, right after the small bounce here. If the USD CAD is going to bounce, we can start shorting USD CAD. And again, we can start aiming some good profit. Let's see. It's nearly to 90 pips, 91 pips of profit. Hopefully, we're going to get them all. Uh, AUD USD is still bouncing on the level which I mentioned because uh, if I'm not mistaken, I said that the AUD USD uh, is having a strong uh, bearish momentum and the price actions here indicated that the market is actually in general going down. However, we can expect for the pullback to happen at the, a at the US uh, AUD USD. Uh, it's, I think it's going to make a small bounce or a pullback until it hit this resistance and then it's going to fall down. So AUD USD is just moving based to the prediction. Um, not based on the prediction. I mean, it's just moving as I predicted it. So let's keep it on. Uh, don't buy the AUD USD. Don't buy it. Just keep the signal for the sell. Wait for it to reach this uh, resistance level because there is always a chance that the market actually might continue falling down without reaching the resistance level right here. So those of you who are thinking about buying AUD USD, I really don't advise it. I suggest to wait for the market to reach this resistance level. Let's move to the USD CHF, which is also still uh, in consolidation mode for the whole week so far. Uh, so far two days still ranging right on the level where I mentioned that we can start selling right now and seeing this price action. And I think if the candle of today will close like that, this one right here, then we can actually start selling USD CHF. However, the signal has not changed. It's still the same. USD CHF is still good for sell. Uh, let's talk about gold, however. Gold, as I mentioned last in the last week analysis, it is really good to start buying on this level right here because we had here a strong support and then the market is going to go up all the way hitting this resistance and then going to fall down. What happened is that gold has actually fall more down below to this support level and then now it started reversing. Yeah, the gold has went down against us for quite a long time for so many pips. However, we can see that the correction started to happen with this strong bullish candle. So right now, gold actually might make a small reversal, retesting this previous resistance and gonna continue rising more up. So I advise those who have bought uh, the gold to keep your position. Don't don't uh, be worried. Don't scared. All in all, the gold seems to be going up at the point and we will wait for the gold to reach this level 1472. If there is any price action or any uh, news in the market uh, indicating that we should start or we should actually cancel the sell, I will let everyone know. I will make another video for that only so we can always 
uh, all of us we can be safe hopefully we will make a decent profit from the uh, from the market this week so all in all uh, all the predictions are going well as I predicted so far if any chances my friend I will let you know so in the end uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching